I will demonstrate how to parallel park. There are two ways to parallel park. You can do it on the driver's window side or you can do it on the service door side. In this case, I will do it on the service door side. And this is what you see over here on the, the right side of the diagram. So basically, there is a box. There's a wall here. There are, you know, vehicles parked behind and in front of the box. And what you do, you drive parallel to the box like this. And then you maneuver to position the bus inside the box. We see the box right over here. And you need to adjust your mirrors before you start, so you see what you're doing. And there are two pull-ups and two get out and looks in this procedure. So I'm about to demonstrate. First of all, what I want to do is to drive and position my bus parallel to the box. So I go around. And I want to be at a distance of two feet away from the box. Now the cones are color coded. When you take the CDL test, the cones are not color color coded. They're they're all orange. But in this case, they are color coded. And what I do, I pull up until the green cone, my my, my back, my uh, rear bumper clears my green cone. Just like this. Then I back up straight until my back wheel is lined up with that same green cone. Just like this. And what I do now, I do a hard right. So I put my, I steer my wheels all the way to the right. And I want that green cone to be midway between my back wheel and my front wheel and my back wheel. But the easiest way to go about it is I look over here in the opposite mirrors and I look for the cones that are in the back of the box. And when I count to the third cone, then I, I, I I back up until that point at to that point. Okay, so I look carefully. Okay, I see the first cone. Second cone. And then the third cone is gonna be a, a red cone. Okay, right at that point I just saw the third cone. At that point I put my I steer my wheel straight like this and then I keep backing uh, backing up but I focus now on that first green cone and the wall on the side of the box I don't want to hit the wall and I want to clear that green cone so what I want to do is I keep backing up And as soon as I see that green cone in my service door, that's the case right now, I start doing a hard right, uh, a, a hard left, like this. To get inside the box 
But I keep an eye on that green cone. I don't want to smash it because this is not perfect science. You have to readjust sometimes. Okay, see I can use my cross view mirror over there to make sure I don't smash that green cone. Then I don't forget about my, my wall either. Okay, now I clear my green cone. That's good. And I can get position my wheels to get a bit further inside the box if needed. That's what I'm doing. I put my wheels back straight because I have a bit more room. Okay, now what I do, I do a hard left again. like this and then the box is 55 feet long the bus is 40 feet long so we have an extra 15 feet so divide that by two that's seven and a half feet on you know in front and in the back of the bus if the box is the bus is per perfectly centered lengthwise so you don't want to wait until your cone you see your cones way up that means you're probably too far back. So at this point, normally what you should do, you should use one of your get out looks and you go look to see what, you know how it went. So I go out. I look. The bus is inside the box, so far so good. Over here I clear, and over there I cleared also. Now, what you want to do, you don't want to go too far. That's one reason why you want to get, to use that, that get out and look. Because when you test, if you tip the, the cone like this, and it, it's hanging on the, the rear bumper, then the, the examiner will take, uh, take two points off on the score sheet, and that's it. But if the cone is completely knocked down like this, then you fail, so that you don't wanna fail. So for that reason, you need to be careful not to go too far back. And then after that, when you're satisfied, you can always, if you're not completely satisfied, for instance, if the bus sticks out of the bus, the, the box, and you need to readjust, you can do it. As long as you have, remember, you have two free pull-ups and you have two get out and looks. So you can readjust and, and position the, the, the bus properly to complete your maneuver. Then when you're satisfied, what you do, you make sure your wheels are, your front wheels are straight and you blow the horn to tell the examiner that you're done. And that's it.